This is the card I'm going to show you how to make. It has an insert in there using one of the sentiments from the Bertie sentiment files. And also we've got the bear there on the front, but if you can see it's in 3D. Now this is a card, but it could be easily converted into a picture. Now for this project, these are the papers that we're going to print out. Now you've got two options here. You can either print this main image out six times and make your own 3D uh, stackers as they go on top of each other. But also in the project file, I have given you the already cut out sections. So you can print those off and use those as well. So you've got two ways of doing this project and then you've also got a happy birthday sentiment in the set as well. Now we're going to start with this 8 inch by 8 inch card. And I've already done the insert that I'm going to do. I cut out the happy birthday sentiment to the size that I wanted and then backed it onto some red paper. And now I'm just going to stick that into the inside of the card. So that's the inside. I think the inside is as important as the outside. Now on the front of the card, I've got the main image there, which again, I have cut to size. And this time I've just backed it onto a little metallic red foil card. And that I'm just going to stick over the front of the card. Now I've already cut out all the pieces and I've put some double sided foam tape on the back and now I'm just going to layer those up one by one on the top of the card. These are the designs all cut out ready to do my decoupage. Now as you can see when I trim the card I lost some of the feet and the head bit here. And I've cut this out, but kept those in because they're going to overlap onto just the outside of the card and I think it'll give another element. So all you have to do now is have a to do now. All you have to do now, till it's the end of the day, a bit tired now, so I think this will be the first and last gem for the rest of the day. So you need to line this over the top and I say it doesn't matter. It's going to go exactly there and you can see how that's not, it's going up to the top of the frame here and down at the bottom you can see the legs just overlapping here and all you have to do is just layer them on top of each other.
So I've added the pores and now I'm adding the rest of the cake like that and then his snout is going to go on next. And finally the little flower. And there you have the finished card, but obviously you can add more to it, sentiments, etc. And you've got the inside of the card and on this banner here you can write whatever text you want. So there's the finished 3D bear card using set number one from the bear selection. So there you have it as a card, but if you go around the supermarkets and have a look, you can find frames there that will pick, fit perfectly. Now this is an 8 inch by 8 inch gap there, you can put it inside, and then all you've got to do you just take your frame and that just fits into there perfectly obviously put your mount on the back and then you've got the picture frame the decoupage and a nice picture frame so that look great on the wall so not only are they cards they are great pictures too and you can get the frames in different sizes and as you can see, you can fit these into much bigger frames. And that 3D really stands out well. So have a good look around the supermarkets or wherever you want. And you can find frames that actually fit the card that you've made.